Hi, this is Chris with Healing Arts Garden, and today we're going to do an EMF comparison test between the Richway Biomat on the left and the Charmed FIR mat on the right, um, which is also called a Charmed Biomat. Uh, so, all right, um, let's get started. Um, with, this is a Trifield meter. You can get these on Amazon for about $120. Um, some general background information. Um, the unit of measurement is a milligauss, and um, a normal background radiation is about three milligauss, um, or it depends where you are. Um, but most of the rooms in my house are about three milligauss. Um, this room, for some reason, is very low. It's about less than one. It's almost zero milligauss, so that's why I picked this room. Um, the other thing that's good to know is that this scale is a logarithmic scale. So more than half of it just goes from 0 to 10 milligauss. That takes up more than half. And then 10 to 100 takes up um, a lot of the rest of it, um, but it does go past 100. So if it buries the needle all the way out here, that's a very high reading. That is a probably 500 plus milligauss um, just because it is a logarithmic scale. Um, so since this is a product that we'll be using uh, right next to our bodies for long periods of time, um, it matters, the EMFs matter more than um, a lamp or a microwave or something like that. So, all right, um, let's get started. Um, how these mats work is they warm up, they have a lot of crystals on the surface of them, that's the majority of the weight of them is crystals, and they warm the crystals up to the desired temperature. So, if it's on a low setting, um, the way to get a fair test is then to turn it up to a high setting, because if it's on a low setting, it may not be doing anything currently um, to warm the crystals. So, all right, so we're going to turn this to the magnetic uh, field range. We'll test the electric field next. All right, so you can see the biomat, the Richway biomat is close to background on these parts at least. It's one and a half milligauss, and this is holding the meter directly on the pad. I want to basically just search around for any hot spots. Sometimes these mats will have a hot spot around the connector. So let's see there, uh, about 25 I can get, 25 milligauss. Um, the other um, important thing to test is how far away do you have to be from this point source before it drops back down to ground to background levels. Uh, you want to be about an inch and a half away. Now it's back down to about three milligauss. So uh, maybe two, two inch and a half, two inches um, before it hits background levels. Okay, so one little hot spot there. Um, ideally, be a couple inches away from that spot. Um, but the rest of your body is good. Okay, now for the charmed mat, let's turn it up like we did with the bio mat. All right. And there we are. Um, it buries the needle all the way down. So that's um, a very high reading. That's 500 at least um, across the whole surface here. Um, here's 100 in this area. But very high, even, even for any electronic. Okay, now how far away would we need to be? Um, let's raise it up to go back to background level. We would want to be, it looks like about 18 inches away from the mat. Um, all right, we notice if we turn temperature down, then totally fine, background levels. We turn the temperature back up, and there we are, back up 100 plus. So that's just the, whenever the mat is actually actively heating the crystals, that's when it does that. All right, now let's do the electric field. 
go back to the Ridgeway Biomat. Right. Again. Getting readings about one milligauss. And then some here, we're up to about 10. And again, it's like before you want to be about an inch or two inches away to get back to background level on the electric fields. All right. Now the charmed mat. Uh, buries a needle again, 500 plus. that test. Um, none of these products have radio waves or microwaves. Um, we can run the meter up just to demonstrate, but that's it's called a tri-field meter, so those are the three fields that it measures. Um, all right, um, so again we'll go back to the magnetic. Turn it all the way down. Still no reading. And then we'll turn it up. No change. Except for there. Pull it back a little bit. All right. Um, well, that concludes the EMF test. Um, and we've, we're going to do some tests with some other brands of infrared pad too, but what we're learning is that it's a lot easier to advertise EMF protection than it is to manufacture products that have it. Uh, see you next time.